Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mithani and welcome to Learn and Tech. In this video, I'm going to talk about InfoPart Designer. So what is InfoPart Designer all about and how you can use it in your SharePoint? I'll be talking about that. So people who are new in InfoPart, first of all, I'll tell you what InfoPart is all about. So InfoPart is basically a, a designer tool and it is basically a form designer tool so by which you can customize your list form and you can connect it with rest and soap services and can provide a better user experience for your end user right so first of all i'll tell you how you can actually download the info part designer and how you install it and how it is ready to use for your sharepoint list go in google and type download info part designer and there we have info part designer so there's a two version right now for info part designer one is uh, info part designer 2013 and one is 2010 version so i'll be talking about the 2013 version right and once you click here in the download section it will provide you two options for 32 bit and for 64 bit right so whatever your system is compatible you can download check here click on next it will download in Papa designer for you so once it is downloaded you can go in your download section and here is my info path click on this i've already installed info path designer in my uh, system so that's why it's showing uh, whether i need to repair remove or add or remove new feature so you'll have simply install option here you can click on continue your info path designer will be installed and once it is installed in your machine I'll tell you how you can use it just go in your search bar and type info part designer and there your info part is all about so this is how your info part look like and from here you can either open your list from here also you can directly put the address here and the simple way I'll tell you is go in one of your SharePoint list create a list go there and once you installed InfoPart Designer in your machine, there is Customize InfoPath option will automatically enable. You have to just click on the section and it is asking me to Internet Explorer require for this feature. So I will not go by this feature. So generally what happened for this feature you need IE. You can open this site on IE and can start customizing that. And other option is go in a list setting. So there is a form setting option and there you can see that customized info path click here pop up will appear and now you can see that this is how your form look in info path so you can uh, pretty much customize your form and look and feel create views validation all these things you can do in infopath there's a lot of things to do in infopath so i'll be talking about other things in next tutorials till the time subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed already and like and share this videos thank you so much